Today, uh, we are going to spend time in the Word of God and uh, I just want to bring a very uh, simple message uh, to us. I want to talk to us a little bit on strength in adversity. As we journey through life, there will be adversity. There will be difficulties. There will be challenges. Uh, there will be things that are not so pleasant uh, because of the pandemic and sometimes the outcomes of that. People have lost jobs. Uh, there are a lot of other kinds of difficulties that have come because of that. And so in the midst of this adversity, which all of us are facing, where can we get strength to journey and overcome? Well, we learned something here from the Apostle Paul. Instead of focusing on the cause of the adversity, or instead of focusing on the adversities themselves, as all the problems and challenges, focus on these three things that are available to you as a believer in Jesus Christ. What do you focus on? Focus on Christ's grace, focus on Christ's strength, and focus on Christ's power that's available to you and me. So in the middle of adversity, we, you and I, as believers, talk about grace, talk about Christ's strength, and talk about Christ's power. And I want to just you know, expand on these three things a little bit. So Christ's grace in the midst of adversity, in the midst of difficulties, what does grace do? By grace, there is favor, there is divine favor. Because of his grace, there is divine enabling that comes over our lives. So in the middle of adversity, what might I look for? God, I thank you that you give me grace. You give me grace equal and more than equal to the demands of my situation. So the, the situations are adverse, they're difficult, they're challenging, troublesome, hard, uh, sometimes uh, they are crushing, sometimes they are draining, or whatever effect they're having on you, the grace of Christ that is available to you will give you favor and enablement. And you and I must draw on that grace. So we draw on the grace of God in adversity. And the grace of God gives us what we do not have. The grace of God brings into our life what we do not deserve. The grace of God enables us to rise beyond our highest abilities. That is what grace will do for you and me in the midst of adversity. So Christ's grace. Secondly, we see in this passage, what Paul has learned to do is to Christ is to lean upon Christ's strength. So, you know, uh, obviously, as, he is, as he's facing adversity, as he's facing this messenger of Satan coming against him over and over, Paul says, I can't take this anymore. I, I don't have strength to keep fighting these battles. I don't have strength to keep resisting the devil. I don't have strength to hold my shield up anymore. But God is saying, look, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. That means when you come to the place where you feel like, God, I don't have any more strength. I'm weak. I don't have any more strength to keep running or keep walking. I don't have any more strength to keep fighting. I don't have any more strength to keep pushing. I don't have any more strength to stand up against all these things that I'm facing. God is saying, my strength, my strength is made complete in your weakness. That means when you have nothing left, all the strength of God flows in and empowers you to be more than enough for that situation. And thirdly, Paul says, the power of Christ may rest on me. That means in the middle of adversity, he's focusing on the fact that the power of Christ, Christ's power is resting on him. For what purpose? In order to be demonstrated through him, in order to be released through him, so that even though he's facing hardships, even though he's facing adversity, the ministry work gets done because it's Christ's power working through him. It's Christ's power that's healing the sick through him, that's delivering uh, people who are oppressed, that is causing churches to be planted, that is causing believers to be strengthened, that is causing the work of God to continue in spite of adversity because it's Christ's power flowing through him. 